Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel, and today we're going to unbox this adapter, which is the PlayStation VR 2 adapter to use on your computer. Um, I bought this from AliExpress, it's not the official one, so I'm very curious to see if it'll work just like the official one. So let's start by opening it. Uh, I also bought it with like the, power, uh, like the power plug. It's the European standard, which should work in my country. So let's open this. It came straight from Guangdong. Oh, okay, so you can already see on the box here pretty standard for an AliExpress uh, box here. Um, that It's just like a standard box with info. Uh, you can see that it tells you that it's the PSVR 2 adapter here. So let's actually open it. Oh, it actually looks quite legit. So it even comes with a manual for... Dude, this actually looks legit, what the hell? <laughs> this even looks like the actual, like, PS Heroes, like, the original manual from Sony. Um, so this here is the power plug, which uh, is not included in all versions. You have to pay a little bit extra to get this. So this is what you plug into the adapter. And this is what you plug on the uh, this little font here that goes into your power outlet. And this bad boy right here is the actual adapter. Um, yeah, so as you can see, you put the PlayStation VR 2 USB-C up and uh, you connect it into this um, little port here. And from the back you have your USB 3.0 and the display port which does not uh, come with it. So you have to buy it separately and here you connect the power. Uh, cable so you can tell that this is not like an of official version from from Sony because you can come here because if it were from actual if it actually were from Sony it would have like the PlayStation logo here but apart from that like everything looks very very legit so next step is to try it out on my PC and by the way my laptop does not have a display port connector so I, I actually also bought a display port to USB-C, uh, which by the way Sony says that it doesn't work, but hey, it should work theoretically. So let's try it out. Okay, so everything's a mess here at the moment. Um, I got everything connected. My controllers are here. I still haven't paired them. Uh, so it's connected by the USB-C and it has like the USB 3.0 that comes here. It also goes to a power outlet and you can also see here that I'm using a DisplayPort 1.4 to USB-C. Uh, so because my computer actually does not have a, a DisplayPort uh, port, literally. <laughs> so let's open like the official app. So that's the moment of truth. You can already see that it's red, so it's at least like detecting it. Okay, so get ready, all right, please work. Um, uh, whatever, get all my data, I don't care. So put your controller down with easy reach. Uh, okay, so, all right. Um, yeah, it's gonna ask me to pair the controllers now, so I got like the left one here. I think it's already in pairing mode. No, it's not. So let's actually put it on pairing mode. All right, your controllers are connected. Let's go. Uh, yeah, use the USB port. Yeah, it's all right. Next, connect the AC adapter. I did that. Yeah, so now we gotta turn it on, I guess. So there's a button down here. Okay, turned on. Let's see. Oh, 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 it's going. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's already connected. Prepare your devices. Oh my God, okay. Okay, let's put it on and see. So, hey, welcome back to the video. Uh, it might have been just a second or two for you, but it was actually like around two weeks for me since I recorded the beginning of the video and recording this now. So, what happened is that it just didn't work at first. Like, the adapter 
I, I just couldn't see any video I put on my headset uh, that was just like that symbol of please check your screen uh, there's something wrong uh, PS the, the PSVR 2 app was telling me that my DisplayPort cable was not um, 1.4 compatible so I instead just got a new cable and I, I thought well that's the problem that's what's happening and the same error was showing the PSVR 2 app so I just thought that the adapter was broken and I actually had to like ask for a refund on AliExpress because like at that point like after like four days of trying I just gave up basically because uh, it was just not working I actually even opened the adapter to see if I could fix it myself you know I already had asked for a refund uh, at that time so I was like okay whatever uh, let's just see if I can get it to work and I actually got it to work with the cable that was previously not working why I don't have the slightest idea I literally don't know why it suddenly started working after I tore the thing apart but it worked and then I put everything back and it it, it, it like it, it is working and here's the plot twist I think that it was for some reason just a coincidence that both of the cables that I tried like both of the display port cables I tried uh, were borked for some reason because I don't have any display port displays here so I can't try them I, I can only try with like this headset and I think that was actually the reason because today the new cable I actually bought from AliExpress which is the Ugreen 8K 60Hz cable that goes from DisplayPort to USB-C uh, it is it, like it is working perfectly and even though I actually got it to work before I was still having a few glitches and sometimes it would just like randomly disconnect and now it's just perfect so I'm actually feeling kind of bad because like I tore the whole thing apart I had to do this whole thing and maybe I don't know maybe it was literally just a coincidence because both of the cables I tried were borked but I just couldn't try them so like there was literally no way of knowing that like the issue wasn't the adapter and it was the cable and even now like I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure if I didn't eventually just fix something by opening the thing because I had to like move the cables around I also uh, my father also helped me uh, because the previous cable that I had was a little bit on the short side so it wouldn't like fit properly I mean it would connect but you wouldn't just feel the little snap you know when you insert a cable uh, into the plug so I, like even now I'm not sure if I should feel bad for asking the refund because like I, I already had given up at the time I, I thought there was just no way of making this thing work but like I still don't know if the adapter was faulty, if that was just a coincidence on both of the cables that I tried, which by the way, the cable, for some reason, the cable that ended up working was not even a 1.4 uh, DisplayPort cable, that was just a 1.2 one, so like, what the hell? <laughs> but the cable that I'm currently using right now, which is the Ugreen that I bought on AliExpress, it is a 1.4 DisplayPort cable, it's working properly. Um, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I am using this on my laptop, so I have to use a DisplayPort to USB-C cable to make it work. So, without any, uh, further talking... Okay, wait. <laughs> Let me actually... Okay, let's actually play the game now, and just show you a, a little bit of gameplay here. I love this game, man. It's just so freaking cool. Oh, fuck, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> okay. Die! Die! Gonna shoot me! Gonna shoot me or what? Got it. Gotcha. He's gonna start shooting me. Oh no! Okay, I suck at this game. Anyways, so you can see that it is working. So just showing you quickly, like, it is very, very responsive. 
I would say uh, that the tracking is not as accurate as uh, playing this on the PS5. Like, like it just playing this on the PS5, it just feels like you're literally like there is just no tracking. Um, like, I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but sometimes when I did this, uh, like it, it would just like slip a little bit. Sometimes, like right now, it's not doing that for some reason, just because I'm trying to demonstrate. But yeah. For some reason, it's perfect now. I was just gonna show you guys, but like sometimes you're just like, st oh, here it happened now. I'm not sure if you guys could see it. Like sometimes you're just standing, like just a little bit of movement, and then you feel like the whole thing just slips and then comes back, like for a split second. Um, that's just something I noticed it after using this for a bit, and. Uh, but yeah, uh, apart from that, it's just perfect, like, the controller's tracking is perfect. My laptop already had, like, uh, Bluetooth, so I didn't actually need to buy a Bluetooth adapter. I just used the, um, the regular, like, Bluetooth um, on my laptop. And as you guys can see, it's perfect. So I'm playing, like, Pavlov, uh, Boneworks, uh, uh, Half-Life Alex. like, every single game I tried works perfectly and now it's doing the slipping thing again it's weird i think it's because my window is open so every time my window is open and and it's a day because right now it's daytime here so every time I, I i i use this at daytime here it just uh it just feels kind of weird like if i look at the window it'll, it'll start acting weird but that's probably just because the window uh which is something that doesn't happen too often on the ps5 but Apart from that, yeah, it's just working perfectly. Also, I recorded a video playing like Twin Peaks VR with this headset, if you want to see. So you can check that out. Um, and is there anything else to say? I don't think so. So yeah, playing Half-Life Alex, perfect. Um, I would like the haptics on the PC to feel a little bit better. Because on the PS5, you actually have like the, the advanced haptic feedback stuff. On a PC, it actually falls back to a regular rumble, which is okay, you know, it's not, like, terrible, but it just subtracts a little bit of the experience. Mainly, if you have tried playing Half-Life Alex before with, like, a Valve Index, because the haptic feedback is just, like, on another new level. It's, it's basically, like, playing Half-Life Alyx with the uh, Valve Index is kind of like playing any PSVR game on the PS5. Because you're gonna have, like, the cool haptics and stuff. So, yeah, that, that's missing, but uh, apart from, like, Half-Life Alyx, most games don't even have those haptics. Uh, another game that also has those cool haptics is The Lab. Like, I, I, was, I, I also have a Valve Index that's kind of borked at the moment. Uh, that's why I actually got this headset. But, like, playing the lab with uh, the Valve Index is just, like, on a whole new level. You got, like, the... Like, when you're, when you're like, trying to shoot with your bow, you actually feel, like, the tension in pulling the thing. So, that's really cool. But, yeah, like, apart from, like, the lab and, and Half-Life Alex, I just can't uh, tell the difference in other games. Also, I actually found out that Half-Life 2 has a VR mod, which is really cool. Yeah, this one, Half-Life 2 VR mod. Uh, I can also make a video on that if you guys want. So, yeah, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, would I recommend you to buy the AliExpress adapter? Uh, no. <laughs> no, simply because if something goes wrong, there's no way of you to know like whether or not that was the adapter or if your cable is borked. So you're gonna probably spend like I spent actually three hundred dollars. Uh, not no no no, not three hundred dollars. I spent three hundred reais, which would be like uh fifty ish dollars, on a bunch of cables just trying to figure stuff out until I actually found out that that was just uh, a problem with my cables. Uh, so like, if I would have spent that much money on cables, I would have just bought like the you know like the regular adapter uh that might might have been unluckness uh, unluckness does that word even exist I, I don't know like that 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 have might just been me and yeah i mean like the price difference is not that big it's kind of like the original adapter is 60 dollars the fake adapter is 
thirty ish, I guess. So if you're gonna spend that much money on it, just go for the for the official one. Uh, that's probably gonna give you a better experience for sure. So yeah, that was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye bye. Buy the official adapter. Don't be like me. Don't buy it on AliExpress. Unless you can't find it, because many countries, uh, you can't buy like the official one, because that's already uh, out of stock. So if that's the case, then yeah, go ahead and buy the AliExpress one. But just keep in mind that you might um, come into some problems with it. And that's about it. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.